Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. It is Lego store release day, March 1st, and we just got to the mall. There are over 45 brand new Legos that's coming out. We aren't interested in all of them, but there's a lot that we are. The mall opens at 10 a.m. It is currently 9.18. This video is sponsored by Whatnot, and tomorrow I have a charity auction that I'll tell you more about later in this video. I'm so excited. <gasps> You ready to head in? Let's do it. Let's do it. We have to get in line. There's already a lot of cars Y'all, I am so tired this morning. I don't know what's going on, but I'm also really excited because again, there's like 45 brand new sets coming out and it's from themes that I love and new themes as well. We finally have Animal Crossing. Those sets are so, so cute. We were fortunate enough to build a lot of them early, but they're still the poly bag. It's like Maple's wild ride or something i forget what the poly bag's called but it has maple in it so i really want that one i was at walmart the other day trying to find it early and that was the only animal crossing set they didn't have on the shelves already and then there's the brand new stitch set there's snow white snow white is incredible the whole new star wars wave is coming out today that medieval set as well we really want to get that and do some sort of like enchanted forest kind of thing in the lego city combine that medieval stuff with snow white and then like do some mock building and make it really magical and fun and that's obviously not 45 sets there's a lot of other stuff coming out today too but I don't remember what all of that is right now. Anyways, let's go see how long the line is. I feel like this is a better release day than January 1st, which I feel like is kind of rare. Usually January 1st and then August 1st are the huge release days. And wow, this line is really long, so I guess other people think it's a good release day too. Check this out. The line's already like 20-ish people long. <laughs> There's Ross. It's about 9.30 now and the line is growing kind of quickly. But yeah, we have kind of a weird shopping list today. So we want the medieval market for sure. I also believe there's a gift with purchase if you spend over $200, which I think we're gonna be doing today. I don't know how much the medieval market is, but we're definitely getting that. I feel like there's actually a lot of really good castle and medieval stuff on the shelves right now, which is exciting. I'm very happy about that. We're also getting the Animal Crossing poly bag. All of this is kind of for a special project. So we want a Disney princess set. I want the Japan postcard. There's the $10 pinata set. There's an RV camper van, I think from the Lego City theme. And then the brand new Harry Potter Ford Anglia. This will actually be my first Harry Potter Ford Anglia, I believe. I don't think I have one. They're all somehow related. Wait, so I just came to the front of the store to like check out the store displays, but they're doing that thing again where they open the doors a little bit early. It's currently 934 and they're letting people shop. So that's pretty cool. I love when they do that. I guess I'll have to make this kind of quick because the line is starting to move, but Here's a bunch of new-ish releases. I think it's just focused on flowers and like the cute sets in the front here. I don't see anything new like Stitch or the Animal Crossing. But then I was right about to get with purchase. Thank goodness. Look how cute this one is. It's a flower shop, a florist, and you have to spend $200 to get it. I think it's so cute. I like this Houses of the World kind of thing. I don't think it is Houses of the World because it says it's the first in a new series, but it'll fit in really nice with that scale. The flowers on the front look really good. So I'm excited to pick this one up today and then what is this, a free gift with purchase? Oh, I didn't even realize that. So the poly bag there is a free gift if you spend $50 on Animal Crossing. We already have the whole Animal Crossing wave, so um, I hope they just sell them individually because I don't want to buy more Animal Crossing. But then just inside, it looks like they do have a new Disney display, like that pink there is really cute. And then they have the flowers, the Encanto sets. I don't see Stitch, where's Stitch? Oh, there he is, he's kind of hidden. So it is kind of exciting. The line is already moving before 10 a.m. So I'll probably have to make this quick. I mentioned a list of some of the sets we're getting today. It would probably be a little bit longer except I found a lot of them early at Walmart yesterday and I'm doing a giveaway with them. <laughs> Thank you whatnot for sponsoring this video. Let me tell you about my charity auction happening tomorrow March 2nd. I am so excited to be hosting a charity auction benefiting Make-A-Wish. If you're new to whatnot and sign up using my link down in the description you'll get $15 free to spend in app. If you use that credit during my charity auction it's basically a free donation to a great cause. I've also listed lots of items for $15 or less in my buy it now to help provide lots of ways to support. This is is also the first time I've ever had anything custom printed. I have a custom printed Emma Soros brick, custom tile, it's an Emma story machine, a few of these fun mysterious stickers, and I'll have lots of signed tiles from me and Ross. My charity auction is happening as part of What Not Rewind, which is three jam-packed days of shopping and giveaways featuring retro collectibles. Tune into my stream as well as shop from other sellers now through March 2nd. There are thousands of minifigures, sets, and more. Again, make sure to get your $15 to spend on retro finds and support my charity auction by clicking my whatnot link down in the description. Tacos. Tune into my whatnot rewind stream March 2nd at 6 p.m. Now back to you, Emily. Download it. Welcome back. What's up? I think it's almost time for us to head in. So this morning on the way here, I saw a high school kid wearing cowboy boots riding a bicycle to school. And I'm just like, get a horse. And now I just saw like two middle schoolers walking around with their backpack when it's like a Friday morning. 
truancy affects us all. All right. All right, Ross, here's the medieval set. Yay! Oh, I'll take that. Look at the goat. The goat? Oh, oh yeah. Whoa, and I have it built here. Oh, that's so cool. There's the goat, y'all. Look at that in all its goat glory. Wow, this set is cool. It's huge. I feel like this will look so good with the Snow White set. I'm so excited to get this one built. I don't think there's anything else new over here, but they do have the Dune Ornithopter. We don't have this one yet, but I know Ross wants it. We also haven't seen the new Dune movie yet, and we definitely need to. The minifigs in here are just so good. Ross is more excited for this one, but I feel like it'll look really nice on display. Oh, and then here we have Animal Crossing, the four five new sets. Yeah, I think there's five. Kind of upset the little poly bag is a gift with purchase rather than like a set that you can just buy, but I think we'll be able to spend 50 today. I think worst case, we might just get another one of Isabel's visit and hold on to it. That one gets us to $40. If we spend 10 more on something else, then we would qualify. Over here, they have Snow White. I'm surprised this isn't just like completely gone already. They have a lot in stock though, it looks like. It's really neat with this one because the bag order, it starts with the well because that's where the movie starts and then you build everything else and then it ends with this one. So it's kind of like the storyline of the movie. I think there's also a new F1 car coming out. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm guessing it's this one here since, you know, it's like half gone already. I don't keep up with F1, but the builds do look really impressive. I feel like I should probably get into to it. There's that Netflix documentary I've been wanting to watch. And then here's all the new Star Wars, the R2, the UCS hallway over here, the Tantive floor, and then where's the rest of them? Am I missing it? I might be. Maybe they're already gone. Oh, the Falcon there. Yeah, I think those are already gone except for the invisible hand way in the back. Invisible hand. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a joke. It's funny. Ross has like a pile going on here so far. Good job, Ross. Looking at the ticket bricks wall here though, I was really hoping that they would have bricks or tiles. And I see so many of these white tiles here. I'm so excited because for the charity auction, I want to list off a bunch of things that are just like really cheap, you know, like $5 just to make it more accessible for anyone to be able to donate and support. So I'm gonna get probably like a box or two of these and just sign them. Me and Ross are gonna sign them and list them. I'll try to do like a hundred, I think, cause last time we did 40 and they sold out in like five minutes. I also think this is my first time filling up a box. So this is exciting. Here's my pab. And then a Harry Potter set. I wanna find the Ford Anglia. Here we go. Okay, perfect. Yay, they still have it. Okay, good. Let me add this to our pile. And did you get the burger too? This is us so far. And then I get so many comments and videos saying that I don't show Ninjago. So here we go. I'm not sure exactly what all is new here, but this one for sure is. We built this one and I loved it. It is beautiful. I cannot recommend this set enough. It is like probably the best Ninjago set I've seen in a while beyond like, you know, the giant Ninjago City ones. Look at the little turtle. Oh wow, he looks kind of <laughs> scary. I don't I don't like that turtle. He's a happy turtle. Yeah, I don't think he's happy. He looks like he's about to bite you. I just noticed this set over here. It kind of looks like the building from uh, Futurama, the Planet Express building. But what I really like is that little dog. He's on duty. He's got a little vest and everything. He's a good boy. Looking over at Disney Princess, I'm always kind of shocked at how many Disney sets there are now. There's so many. And then this display in here is really cute. And fun fact, y'all, actually this Rapunzel set, boom, Sign that in, in our charity auction, we have like a signature from Boone signing his catalog where he like signed next to that. It's really, really cool. So they just have a lot of fun stuff in there. This one down here is so cute to me. I love it. Like the design on each of the buildings is really beautiful. And then it's kind of funny too, cause like Tiana's place there. But then Ariel has like a weird little antique kind of shop with a dingle hopper. A lot of really weird, fun references in this. But the one that I'm actually getting today is this one. I can't wait to tell you guys what we have planned but um yeah we're buying Elsa's frozen treat stand I think it's a really cute set and it also comes with a ring oh I'm definitely gonna be wearing that that's so cool and I think the new fox came out today I forgot about this one the technique for all of his fur is done really really well and then there's also a little squirrely and an owl in a tree I think Ross wants this one but we're gonna hold off today now the next set is the pinata I need to get this one it's so cute and it's kind of a fun design because it opens up it snaps and then like confetti or candy dots come out, don't eat it. It's like not actually candy. And then where's the postcard? Let's see. I don't see the Japan postcard here, unfortunately, but they do have the Vespa and I want to get the Vespa. I'd be buying this one today too if we didn't already have it. I think we bought it January 1st. 
It's unfortunate about the Japan postcard though. I don't see it. But here is Maple. Here's a little gift with purchase that we will hopefully be getting today as long as I still have them in stock. Such a cute little set. I'm excited. And then here's the free gift with purchase for 200 or more. The Little Forest Shop. I love this little scale. I think they make for really good gift with purchase sets. The limit is usually a little bit higher than I would hope for something like this. But it is a nice set. And look, it even has a printed piece on top. It's florist. We're walking around now trying to find something kind of Paris. France related or Germany related and it's kind of difficult because I don't see anything. They do have some Disney princesses from those countries like Belle is from France but I wanted something a little bit more substantial than this and I have no idea what a Germany set would look like. I see nothing that really fits within that mold. All right y'all I think we're getting ready to check out. Here is our pile. We weren't able to find everything we wanted so I think we're gonna have to make an online order but I am really happy with everything we're getting. Here's the pile. We got the goods. We got two many goods. We got just the right number of goods. We actually didn't get enough goods because we still need a Paris postcard and the Japan postcard. We're just going to order those online probably later today. But now I'm forcing Ross to take a quick detour with me to box lunch because I want to find a Beauty and the Beast shirt. And if they don't have it, then I'll leave, but I really want one. Let's check it out. Look at all the Toy Story, Ross. Isn't that fun? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I got the shirt. So something a little unfortunate is that one of my favorite outfits is when I wear a red sweater and then like a teal green beanie and I like the colors I don't know what it is about them they just make me happy I like wearing that combo as you can kind of see it's the same combo today but I received a lot of comments after wearing that that I looked like Eric Cartman which is not something that I ever wanted to hear from anybody and it kind of sucked because after I saw that comment I was like wow they're they're right <laughs> Wow. So um, yeah, now I can never wear that combo again. No more teal beanie, red sweater. But yeah, that comment definitely humbled me. <laughs> People say I look like Megan Fox. <laughs> Are we ready for a car haul? Car haul, car haul, car haul, car haul. Car car haul. haul. Okay, let's see what we got. First thing we got, ooh, it's making me hungry. Ooh, Burger truck, hungry. look at that. Ooh. Burger truck, this is for our, our special project. Special project. Ammon and Manel Crossing. We actually didn't really want to get this one again, but we found out that the gift with purchase threshold meant you had to spend like $50 on Animal Crossing and City Sets. Yeah. And so we ended up getting this one again. So we will be giving this away during the What Not Charity event we are hosting on March 2nd. Good job, Ross. Yes. <laughs> you looked like you were under a lot of yeah. pressure there. A little bit nervous on that one. We got one of these G-Wops. Um, I'm actually surprised they're still making this. This is Houses of the no, World. No, it's a new thing. It's from a new oh. line. Is it Shops of the World? I think it's Flowers of the World. I don't know. I don't know, but it's I don't a, know what it's a called. A flower shop. I like flowers, I like shops. $200 purchase threshold, so that sucks. we didn't come here for that. No, we didn't. I really <laughs> wish we could have got the Spaceman one a few weeks ago. I wish that was the March 1st like gift with purchase, but no, uh, I guess we get the flower shop. Flower shop's still cool. Got Pab. some Pab. All these are our two by four white tiles. Yay! We're gonna be signing these and selling them for the auction. There is some sort of a theme with a lot of these sets, so if you can guess what we might be doing with them, leave a comment. Let us know. Let us know. Give us your best guess. This was really weird. They had this gift with purchase threshold, which I mentioned before was like $50 on Animal Crossing, City Sets, I think Creator 3-in-1, and Friends and Dreams. Yeah. Um, and it comes with both the Animal Crossing poly bag and then this uh, little sea otter beach it's cleanup. It's cute because it's a little, it's on its back. It's collecting rocks. Totes adorbs. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with this because I actually wanted to buy a few of these uh, to give away at the Whatnot Auction two but we were only able to score one so mm. we're gonna be pocketing that one the head mold on this is actually like very unique and uh if you are an animal crossing fan for lego animal crossing you will not want to miss this one you're gonna really regret not being able to get it but hopefully it'll come out at like target or something as a poly bag i've seen that happen before so something... i would assume that'll happen so hopefully it'll be easier to get in the future but for now give a purchase what's next all right check this one out what Later. could that be for <laughs> I have no idea. Check that out. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, pinata. 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 So uh, this is kind of in the same theme of that project we haven't told Ooh. you guys about. Secret project. Secret project. Okay. This is also. This is gonna throw you guys off. This is also part of the same project. But check this one out. It is the Land Rover. I actually really like the torso on this girl. I've yeah, never she's seen cute. this before. It's a little blouse. I like that, I like that a lot. The big, the big one. <laughs> The big one. Isn't that Toy Story? The big one. That's what Sid says with that like death uh, rocket. The one Emily let me buy. 
Yay! So this is the uh, medieval town square, I think. I'm really excited for this one because uh, where I'm wanting to take the Lego city is I want like a European approach. So I want to build this, but I also want to kind of modernize it a little bit. Really excited. I think it'll look really good with Snow White's cottage. Yes. Are you going to build that one later today? We'll see. We'll see. Well, all right, y'all, that is everything we got today. This was a really big release day, even though we didn't really get much that was releasing today. I am really happy with our haul here. And the medieval market is also incredible. So once again, y'all, make sure to click that link down in the description and bookmark my whatnot auction. All proceeds benefit Make-A-Wish. Please come, it's a charity auction. It'll be so much fun. Come hang out, make sure to use the link and sign up. You get $15 free in-up credit. We'll see you then. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.